Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Taylor and I post weekly lifestyle videos and you can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, we'll just list them right here. So let's get right into today's video. I'm going to be reorganizing my iPhone 11. Um, I'm cheap so I still have the 11. I'm not upgrading until this thing dies. My phone has just become super cluttered and overwhelming to look at so I want to reorganize it, maybe give it a new theme. So let's just get started. Right now my lock screen is just this Stranger Things collage. Um, I found it on Pinterest and I thought it was really cool, but like once I go through my phone you can see why it's kind of too much. So my main screen has all of my essential apps like maps, calculator, camera, and I also have a widget that tells me like the date and the day of the week, which is kind of silly because like my calendar is also on the main screen. Then we swipe to the next page where all my socials are and my most used apps. Um, I don't do the whole aesthetic shortcuts images because that's very tedious and I'm too lazy to do that. But the theme of this page is emo, hence why it's all black and red. There's an MCR photo as a widget up at top. These are just static images, which is like fine, but then it gets worse as we get through more pages. So when we go to the next page, it's kind of my secondary apps. Um, apps that I don't use the most, but I definitely use them at least every other day or a couple times a week. The widgets kind of continue the theme of emo. They're black and white, but like they don't really do anything. Um, plus I have this photo of Lucy and Tango that doesn't really fit the theme at all. I just wanted it there because I love them and they're cute and yeah. And then you go to my third page and it this is Marvel themed which is cool on its own if that was the whole entire theme, but it's only one page. We've got more apps on this page, and they're the ones that I use the least, but they're still accessible. Um, I do have this cool slideshow that goes through like the different Marvel characters, like some of my favorites, but you have to swipe it yourself when you want to change the character, which is kind of silly, I guess, to have it. And this would definitely be cool as its own theme for like my whole phone, but I only have it as one page. So it doesn't work. And it doesn't stop there. We get to the last page and it's Disney themed because I just wanted to cram every single theme in my phone to tell myself that I like these things. Like I know I like these things. Um, they're all just static images and they don't fit a theme. These are all just apps that I don't really use that often and they're just taking up space. And I'm going to show you guys my background. Uh, this is just a collage I pulled from Pinterest and it would work for the emo theme if I had continued that throughout it because it's MCR, it's Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, black and red, blah blah blah, but it doesn't work and I've got too many collages, too many photos, and like yes, I love imagery, but like every time I go on my phone I'm like this is a lot to look at. So I think it's time for a makeover. I've decided to go with a more simple theme. Um, I'm going to use a palette of pink, orange, and yellow, kind of retro 70s, groovy, hippie. I've been really into it this summer. so. And it also makes it easier to see the apps and read things because the colors are brighter, if that makes sense. And then you have the darker apps on top of it. So so I did make this background. I just made it on Canva. It's just a little pattern. I changed the colors. Um, very simple. No imagery. It's just little squiggles. And it fits the color scheme. So next I'm going to delete all of my widgets. Just start from scratch. Keep just the apps there. And then see what I don't need. So let's just start deleting stuff. I'm going to work my magic and I'm going to show you what I come up with. So starting with my new lock screen, um, this is a photo I took of Cinderella's Castle earlier this year. I love the colors, um, the image came out super crisp and clean and it's just one image so it's not super overwhelming. Plus I go to Disney in like 55 days so kind of hype myself up to go back. So then we slide up and you could see my home screen. Um, I did keep it with like my essential apps, but I eliminated like the date and the time widget that just didn't make sense and I replaced it with like a calendar widget and you can see if I had events going on, which I don't have any events going on today, but you can still kind of see like, oh, say I was meeting somebody for coffee today, which show up, still says the day of the week and the date, so I like that and it's not multiple apps. I also added this photo of Lucy because I miss her and I just want to look at her as much as possible. So as soon as I open up my phone, I'm going to see her face. The next page is all of my most used apps again, all mostly social apps. I did try to do a little color coordination, 
um like you can see the blues here but it's kind of difficult because apps all have their own color scheme and i was not going to do the whole shortcuts thing um i know a lot of people do that and it looks great for them i'm not gonna do it <laughs> i'll be honest and instead of having um like the slideshow that i did for the marvel theme um i added a few pinterest widgets and they just link straight to a couple of different boards that i have and they're like my aesthetic images things that kind of fit the theme and I like it because it changes hourly, so every time, and you can see right there, it just changed. So every time I like open my phone, I'm gonna see a new image, so yeah. And I really like this better because I don't have to change it and it's just different every time. I also added the reminders widget. I never used it before. Um, I think this will be nice for my to-do list. I'll be able to see my main things that I need to get done that day. And what I did find out about this app is that you can make multiple lists and you can choose which list you want to show on that widget. So like, I, I'm a list girl and I never make lists on this app, so now I'm gonna start using it and it's right there for me to see it. Then you swipe and these are all the secondary apps that I use. Again, I tried to color code it a little bit. I did my best. Um, these are all just static images that kind of fit the theme a little bit and, and I used um, the Widget Smith app to put those there. Um, I also added a photo of Coco and Tango because I also love them and want to see them all the time. Finally, you go to the last page and I place all of my least used apps into groups. These are apps that I probably use like once in a while. Um, food apps, apps like the App Store, things that I don't need easy access to. So yeah, I really narrowed it down. I think what I had five pages to slide through and now I have like three or four, I think main screen, then socials, then secondary, and then the, the last page is kind of my useless page. So kind of three main pages versus I had like four or five. So this is way easier, it's cleaner, I really like it, and I'm really excited to just be able to like open my phone and not be like, oh my god, where is everything? So yeah, you're looking at my reorganized phone. Um, I think I had a lot of information overload going on, and I think this is going to be a nice refresh, and it's going to be a nice change. Let me know in the comments if you have any themes for your phone. I'm kind of curious as to see if other people do themes, or I'm just crazy. I don't know. Um, also, make sure you like and subscribe before you leave. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.